Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here with Marcus and we're going to be looking at this wake up light with colors here and features where it has an alarm and a mood mode and it actually has a radio inside and Marcus loves radio. Let's check out some of the features here. As you can see, it has quite a few of them and you know, it's got some pictures and stuff. All right, so it looks like it comes with a wall plug, US micro USB white. Ooh, I love the white one. Manual, obviously. And then the main light itself. Whoa, it looks pretty cool, dude. Whoa, wow, I thought, I thought it was going to be way smaller. What do you mean? It's, it's, big. it's big? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's the antenna to the FM radio. Oh, there's your little plug there for the power. Oh, look, it even takes batteries, looks like. Okay, so you can run this thing off of batteries. So it has three, four feet here for non-slippage. And that's what the face looks like. It's actually pretty nice looking overall. Oh, these look like they're touch sensitive. They're not like an actual button. Interesting. Okay, then we got some buttons up here. There we go. The light, 24 hour, 12 hour, music, and sound. Hmm, whoa, Marcus, you brought batteries? Yes. I think those are the wrong ones, bro. Well, we could try them out. Oh, they're tri what? You was right. They're triple A. What in the world, bro? Good job. Yeah, the negative always goes on the spring D. All right, so Mark, you brought some batteries. I guess we're gonna put batteries in here. So it looks like the speakers in the back here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, it's like orange, dude. Oh, here's the the brightness. That's cool. Hmm. Pretty cool. I sure looks pretty good, dude. Yeah. All right, so it looks like a pretty good manual here. Kind of explains everything. In very, very easy form. All right, Marcus. So in order to get the radio to work, you have to. They says in the manual is hold this FM button, and then it'll auto scan, and there it goes. Yeah. It's gonna find all the channels, and it's gonna add them to that thing, to the list of channels. Probably should open the antenna then. Should be over soon. 17 so far. 18. Dang. Oh, there we go. It's done. Against them based on race, sex, nationality, place of birth, or place of residence. So the plenary. So now, if you want to change your channel, you just click. I think this. No way. You click this. Sorry. Plus and minus. So that's P2. On the, side of the, horse. the volume is actually one button, guys. Which is kind of crazy. You have to go full blast before you go. Before you go down again. That's full power. Back to zero. That's kind of weird, yeah? So let's see if we can get this thing to glow, bro. What do you think? Oh, yeah. That's the point, right? All right, so we found the cause to our problems. It says here when the product is running on batteries, the function abilities are limited. So technically, the light function does not work. So we need to plug that thing into the USB. Yep. All right, let's do that. All right, so we got some power going to the lights. Now let's see if we can turn on that light, Marky. Yes. So this, this would be your like night light, bro. This is like what you would turn on when you go to sleep, so you have a little light. Because it's very faint, see that? I wonder if you can adjust this faint light, let's see. Oh, you can, look at that. Whoa, it's like, dang. What in the world? It's like the sun came out. <laughs> look at that. That's pretty cool, dude. Hey, I bet you that's how it works. When it wakes you up, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter, and it, make, it makes you wake up, like in a dark room. It acts like the sun, maybe. Hmm, we should check that out. Anyways, guys, if so that's cool. So if you hit this button again, you get different colors. And then you hit the plus and the minuses to change the color. Look at that. I'm not sure if you can adjust the, uh, the brightness on these colors. What do you think? I think you can. These touch buttons are actually very good. They work great. Very responsive and uh, very easy to use. You can barely touch them and they just work. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the time on it. So in order to do that, you click the little clock button here. Okay, and then you change it. So our time is nine. What's the time, Marcus? 9.58, 9.57. 
957. The clock is set. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the alarm. So to set an alarm, we're gonna hold the alarm button. And then we're gonna set it. So let's say 1002 alarm. So now we can turn on the well it is on right there, that little icon there. Once you click it, it turns on the alarm. So technically now our alarm should go on. Okay, so the lights started doing stuff, bro. Look at this. Because it's getting close. Okay, so it, it must be doing something like prior to turning the alarm, it turns the light on first. Alright guys, so we're getting close to our alarm here coming up at 10.02 hopefully. Okay, there it goes. Alright, there goes the alarm. Playing. Wake up too. So let's go ahead and snooze this baby, see what happens. I'm guessing that's the snooze. Alright guys, so here it says that uh, 30 minutes before your alarm sounds, this light will gradually get brighter and brighter. And so as it gets to the end, 5 minutes before the alarm plays, it'll be full brightness. So that's cool, actually. So it's gradually 30 minutes before your alarm, this thing gets brighter, brighter, brighter. So anyways, and then when you hit the snooze button, it's 5 minutes later, it'll play the... It'll, try, it'll attempt to wake you up for 5 minutes after that, so... Um, anyways, let's go through the alarms right quick here. So how you do that is you click this little music button here. And that gives you the options for the alarm, what it sounds like. So we got birds. We got waves and stuff. And we got royalty music. And 7 is actually your FM radio, so if you want your radio to work, then you leave it on 7. So, so here you also got a uh, option of when you want to set the light off, like a sun, like a simulating a sunset. So let's say if you're like going, you like you have a routine and you're going to sleep. So what you'll do is you'll set it at 9 8, uh, p.m. and then at around 8:30 it'll start dimming slowly, 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 slowly. And when it gets to 9 it'll turn off so this is actually a good way to get you to go to sleep if this is the only light you have in the room and let's say you're like reading a book or just whatever browsing your phone or something and uh, this kinda like gives you a reminder hey it's you know time is up time to go to sleep so this is pretty cool too this little feature here so pretty big thumbs up for this clock overall I mean it's pretty interesting the radio is kinda cute I don't know how much you'd use that, but the uh, the lighting and the way this thing works is pretty actually awesome. What in the world? Why is it going to different colors? I guess if you first turn it on, it, it cycles through. But if you want to choose, you just choose your color, and then you're good to roll. So I think Marcus is going to be enjoying it. We're going to use it for his room, and uh, we, now he's going to. Now you're going to know whenever the, the the light goes dark, that means it's time to go to sleep. And in the morning when you wake up, it's going to shine bright like the sun to try to get you to wake up. Oh, that's very cool. I guess that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and it was informative. And if you want to get a clock like this, we'll leave a link in the description. Subscribe and also hit that like button if you like this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.